Right, let's begin. So first you have your non-stick pan. You can use any pan. Let's put the gas on. Let that heat through. And then we're going to put a little bit of spray oil in. And then we're going to get our meatballs. Now these are just shop bought ones. I will do another video where I will make some homemade ones. Pop those in. Let's see how many we can get in the pan. And then what we want to do is actually cook those slowly and turn them over and let them brown off. Now I've just turned all the meatballs over so you can see they're cooking on the one side and then you just turn them over so they're brown all over. While the meatballs are cooking in another pan I'm just going to put I've got quite a big pan here, so in the other one, I'm just going to put the gas on. And then I'm going to pour some oil in, about just under a tablespoon of oil. Then I'm going to put in the chopped onion. and the basil, about a teaspoon and I've got some garlic paste here again about a teaspoon, level teaspoon if you've got fresh cloves then that would be probably two cloves And then we're just going to brown the onions off in there. Right, so now the onions have softened up, as you can see. So I'm going to add the green beans. And then if you have any peas or mushrooms or anything like that you want to add, you add at this point. So I've added the peas as well because I had some in the freezer and some I had some leftover tomatoes so I've just thrown those in. Give it a mix. And then I'm going to add my tin of chopped tomatoes as well. I've put my tins of chopped tomatoes in and then I've refilled the tin halfway with some warm water put that in and you just let that heat up and as you can see my meatballs are nearly done so they're not cooked fully inside it's just that they've all browned on the outside so I'll turn that off and when this reaches its temperature and it's bubbling for a little while, I'll add the meatballs on the top of that and then I'll pop the lid on. Some salt, pepper, I'm going to add some vinegar in this to give it a sweet taste. Sour. 
now you can see it's heating up now give that a mix and let that simmer for a couple of minutes so it's been simmering for a couple of minutes and now I'm going to add the meatballs spread them out and then I'm going to lower the heat put the lid on and let that simmer for five minutes so this has been simmering for five minutes Let's take it off there now I've, I've added the extra meatballs that I had left so obviously you won't have as many meatballs when you cook this now you can see it's been simmering so now what I'm going to do is just give it a stir very gently because we don't want to break the meatballs. We're just turning everything over. As I said before, we had mushrooms. I've put peas in mine um, and the leftover tomatoes that I had. But you can always add mushrooms, peas, broccoli, whatever vegetables that you have. Or you might not want any vegetables in, you can leave it plain. Now I'm just going to pop the lid back on. And let that simmer for another five minutes and then give it a stir. And then another five minutes, so 15 minutes in total. Right, this is after 15 minutes, let's take the lid off. See it bubbling away. It's been on a low heat. So let's give that a stir. Now, if you want to leave it the juice quite runny, that's fine. You can leave it like that if you wish to. If you want to thicken it up, I'm going to tip the corn flour mix in. So in my previous videos, you will see me using this corn flour mix. And this helps thicken the sauce. So we're just going to stir that in. Sorry if the video is a little bit shaky at this point. I'm just holding um, my phone to do this. There you go, so you can see already how thick the sauce has got. I think I'd like it a little bit thicker. So I'm just going to tip a little bit more in and then just let that simmer so we know the true thickness of the sauce. So I'm just going to leave that now to come up to temperature for a couple of minutes so I can see how thick the sauce is. So it's come up to temperature. The thickness of the sauce is exactly how I'd like it. So now all I'm going to do is put the lid on while I get on with the pasta. Right, here I've got some boiling water in a saucepan. I've put some salt in. Now you can either boil a kettle and pour the water into your pan. So this is a full kettle and a half. Um, or you can put hot water in and then just um, bring it up to the boil. So I'm going to put my pasta in now. 
Oh, this is spaghetti. So what I'm going to do is put it down into the pan, twist and let it fan around the pan. And slowly that will start sinking into the middle and you can help it along its way by using um, some tongs or a fork to, put, to push it in. So you can just help by just pushing it in with a fork or some tongs. It will go in eventually. You can see it's sinking in already. So all the pasta has gone into the pan. Just move it around a little and then just leave it alone. All pasta takes a different time, just read the packet, follow the instructions.